Hey guys, um, so uh, I just wanted to talk about a few things. Uh, first of all, um, I'm sorry that it's taken me so long to do the top 10 videos and uh, the monthly favorites and stuff. Um, I've been a little bit busy and the other thing is I recently discovered a new show called Lie to Me and I've been basically um, obsessively watching that show and um, so yeah. And uh, the other thing that I wanted to talk about is um, the top 10 videos, um, They I'm working on it, but at, right now I'm kind of looking at um, my list and I can't really narrow down to just 10 products. So um, I will have to think of another way to actually um, come up with that top 10 list, but uh, I will be working on it. Um, the other thing that I wanted to say is that uh, I mentioned in my last haul video that I was going to a job interview that day and uh, the good news is I actually got the position, yay, and uh, I can certainly see that it will have an impact on the uh, on my video making in that um, I probably will not have a lot of time um, uh, during the week to uh, post any video but I will still try to uh, post them on weekends so um, probably it's just going to be like a slight change of schedule but um, just want to let you guys know that and um, about the graphic garden stuff I um, I'm just gonna run through them really quickly if I can only pick one product that I get from this whole collection it will probably be the eyeshadow palette um, the brush set and the lip bags I don't really think they're worth getting uh, the brush set you can really tell the difference uh, between um, like in terms of quality between the full sizes and the uh, special edition ones and um, I, I think that it's completely um, to be expected because the special edition ones they're actually made by machine whereas the normal ones like the full sizes they are made by hand and um, I it's a difference in quality but if you're someone who uh, don't have a lot of um, the full size of uh, like who don't even have a lot of brushes I think these um, the brush sets is a really good way to try out some of the MAC brushes but for me personally I don't think I will be getting them and uh, for the lip bags the colors are not all that interesting and uh, I think uh, especially with the warm lip bag um, it's really quite a waste of money if you have the um, high tea lipstick from MAC you basically don't need any of them and uh, the if uh, you must get one of the lip bags, uh, go with the pink one. You actually get more of a variety of color and a variety of texture, and um, it's I, I guess like the better uh, pick of the two. Um, for the eyeshadows, uh, I think if you can only pick one product from this whole collection, pick the eyeshadow for three reasons. The first one is that um, it has the special packaging. And the second one is um, the all the eyeshadow colors. They are brand new. And they have never been promoted with any other collection. So, um, and the last reason is the fact that you actually get six eyeshadow for the like forty two dollars or something. So it's really great value, and. Um, most of the eyeshadows they were pretty good in texture with the exception of the darkest color in each palette um that one is kind of like your i guess it was like a velvet finish and uh like it's not the most pigmented it's kind of chalky in texture uh, so but if you look at all the other five like the five eyeshadows that you're getting they're good like color payoff, good texture, good everything, then I think it's still really worth the money. Uh, with the look box, um, they are, I think they are really good value and um, if you don't have the products already, I really would recommend you get them. 
Um, but the way I see it, uh, with the lockbox, um, as long as you like maybe 60% of the products that you're getting in the box, I think is still worth the money. Because uh, I think the look box is still like $72 or something. Uh, but the Kabuki alone was like $40. So um, if you just think about that. And uh, like for me, uh, I got the uh, Sweet Teas box. Um, even though I already have the Love Nectar lip gloss. But the way I see it, even if I take away the value of the uh, Love Nectar Luster Glass, um, I'm still paying a lot less for what I'm getting and um, the other draw uh, for that particular look box is of course the uh, Shell Pro Beauty Powder which I completely missed out on um, from the Barbie Loves MAC collection so yeah and uh, the other thing that I want to talk about is the Color Craft collection I actually was um, I went by the Pro Store today and they have it already uh, I took one picture, but I didn't. I didn't have time to actually stay around. But, but I did take one picture, and uh, the um, the colors are all very very good. And uh, I was really excited about them. But the pro store, they have like their credit card and the debit card. Basically, they oh they the system was down, and so I didn't have any cash on me, so I didn't buy anything. But I was certainly ordered basically everything from that collection um, next week because I really love everything that I saw and um, so yeah and that's it thanks for watching bye now